if you're multiplying powers then you add the powers and if you're dividing powers then you take the powers away so let's look at example 1 so we need to simplify x to the power of 7 times x to the power of 5 so this time we're multiplying the two terms here so we need to add the powers so 7 add 5 gives us 12 so that will be the final answer so let's move on to example 2 so this time we need to simplify m to the power 15 divided by m now this here is just m to the power of 1 so this time we're dividing the two terms so we need to take away the powers so 15 take away 1 is 14 so our final answer will be m to the power of 14 so let's move on to example 3 so this one's a little bit harder so we've got to simplify 5x to the power of 7 multiplied by 9x to the power of 4 first thing to do here is just to multiply the numbers together uh, don't add these as these aren't powers so we just have to do 5 times 9 which is 45 and then we need to multiply the x to the power of 7 by x to the power of 4 so this time we're multiplying the terms so we need to add the powers at the top so 7 add 4 is 11 so that will give us x to the power of 11 and again that's your final answer so let's go on to example 4 so this time we're dividing we've got 12x to the power of 4y to the power of 7 divided by 4x cubed y to the power of 9 so again first thing just divide your two numbers here because these aren't powers so we just do 12 divided by 4 which gives us 3 then let's look at the powers of x so we've got x to the power of 4 divided by x to the power of 3 so this time we're dividing so we need to take away the powers so 4 take away 3 is 1 so that will give us x to the power of 1 which we can just write that down as x and finally you've got y to the power of 7 divided by y to the power of 9 so again we're dividing so we need to subtract the powers make sure you do 7 take away 9 and not 9 take away 7 so 7 take away 9 gives us minus 2 so our power on y will be minus 2 again that is your final answer